one of the most irritating things I'm dealing with nowadays is this post-factual, sensational reimagining of Titanic's history. The, the accusation that Titanic never even sank. It was her sister ship Olympic. Uh, the, 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 the theory goes that um, Olympic got rammed by the HMS Hawk in 1911. The damage was so severe that the ship was always going to be hobbled by it. And I don't understand all of it, but somehow it's an insurance scam and they decide to switch Titanic with the damaged Olympic and then send the damaged Olympic out on Titanic's maiden voyage where they're expecting Titanic to meet an untimely end and it's therefore it's the Olympic that's on the ocean bottom and White Star Line got rid of their damaged ship and the real Titanic went on to have a successful career as Olympic. And you, this boggles the mind. You would think this is so easily disproven, and it is. And I'm going to enumerate some of the proof that we have that this cannot be, that the wreck on the bottom is actually Titanic. And this isn't going to matter to these people because they're dead set on it. They love this idea. They're not letting it go. But I'm instead going to try and address those people who still have half a brain and are willing to look at actual, not fabricated, evidence. Number one, we'll start with the ship's name. Unfortunately, there was a documentary made that revealed this truth to the public. And their big reveal at the end of the documentary is an underwater image of the bow of the wreck and supposedly the brass letters that make up the name Titanic had rusted and fallen off revealing the name Olympic underneath. You know, I don't know how brass rusts off. I don't know where they came up with brass nameplate for Titanic because the names of these ships these Harlan and Wolf ships were inscribed into the actual hull plates. They were dug in and then painted in. And so there's no letters to fall off. But beyond that, we've seen the name on Titanic. It's not the MP that shows up in this documentary. They have this crappy CGI that shows the letters MP. And they said, there you go, the proof. It's horrible animation. We've got actual high-def images of this wreck I've seen with my own eyes. We've identified the name Titanic on the port bow. That was cleaned off by Bob Ballard back in 1987 and photographed. We've got the name Titanic on the port bow. In 2010, we did a survey of the starboard side of the ship. We've got high-def images of the name Titanic on the starboard bow and then looking at the stern in 2010 we uh, Ken Marshall was able to identify the letters T and I and Titanic above the letters Liverpool on the stern so the name is there there's no hint of an MP we've got everything on the ship recovered has the whole number 401 for Titanic not 400 of Olympic but people say, well, you can swap things out. But what you can't do is you can't change the physical configuration of the ship. Yes, these two ships were built using the same plans by Harlan and Wolf, But that does not mean they were identical. Titanic ripped out the B-deck promenade that Olympic had and put millionaire suites up there. We've, Jim Cameron has been in those millionaire suites with his ROV, documenting it with his camera. The Turkish bath in Titanic had a different layout. I'm talking about walls and room arrangements, different from Olympic. And for Olympic, we have photographs of her Turkish bath in 1911. We also have it in 1920 and 1913, and years after the Titanic disaster. Her floor plan never changed, but Jim Cameron got inside the Turkish bath in Titanic, and we found 
what we expected to find, a completely changed floor plan, the one that shows up in the Titanic plans, the ones that show up in the newspaper photograph taken inside Titanic's Turkish bath before the disaster. So I don't know how you want to slice it, but the wreck on the bottom has every characteristic in every respect of Titanic and not Olympic. So I try and point these out to these conspiratorialists. They don't want to listen to it. They want to cling to their fabricated evidence. So go ahead. Unfortunately, it's becoming popular. There's been a documentary made on it already. I expect more to come to follow. They're going to put forward their case. I'm sorry. We have documented evidence that they're wrong. And I challenge any of them to find fault with their evidence.